Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to install Rasa in Windows. What you have to do is you have to make sure uh, some important tips before installing Rasa. What you have to make sure that you install mini folder. Go here, go to the link, and then stop for you. Uh, right now I'm doing for in Windows. Yeah, depending on what processor architecture as uh, download the set of file and you have to download uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 CA++ also download it install it both and then put on mini camera prompt here what you have to do is you have to check the version make sure that your big big version is greater than 19 okay and the crucial part is python version you have to make sure that your python is below 3.8 and it should be make sure it is python 3.6 yeah you can check from here yeah python version is 2.6 now you're good to go what you have to do is you have to change your file location to the microsoft visual studio c++ build tools uh, go. Here and then go to Microsoft Visual Studio. There, after entering into this location. After entering into this location, uh, you can uh, uh, run uh, like uh, you can install Rasa. Uh, one more thing, uh, in, in order to install Python 3.6, uh, you can do one more thing. You can do conda install Python 3.6. Yeah. After running the uh, running this command, uh, Python 3.6 will be installed on your PC. Right now. What you can, uh, what you have to do here to install Rasa is just um, uh, run this command pip install Rasa. It will install Rasa for you. As uh, since I have already done, I will not run that code. I'm uh, sorry, got the command uh, for uh, installing uh, uh, Rasa X. Uh, after installing uh, Rasa, uh, you, uh, sometimes you also may need uh, Rasa X. So what you have to do is you have to go to, you have to run this command pip install rasa x hyphen hyphen extra hyphen index hyphen url https uh, pi pi dot uh, we second rasa dot com slash simple Run this command, it will install Rasa X for you. Then now you're good to go. You can uh, run your uh, Rasa, you can run your Rasa project, you can make the chatbot. Okay, uh, what I did after installing Rasa is I created a Rasa project. I created my Rasa project on my different folder. Uh, Now you can see here I have already uh, created a Rasa project. Uh, how did I do this? I just typed Rasa in it. This is the command that I uh, uh, run. Uh, this Rasa init uh, command will install all the initial files, these all files for you. Uh, then you can uh, interact with Rasa. 
then after after installing this uh, uh sorry after creating this rasa project uh, what you can do is you can run rasa x but make sure you have you soon run in this folder only where you created the rasa project for that you have to do rasa x that's all what it does is it will run rasa x for you wait for a second it will open in the google chrome if if it uh, opens in uh, Microsoft or Edge or Mozilla Firefox, uh, uh, which may be your default browser, make sure just copy this um, uh, URL, this local URL, and then uh, paste in the Google Chrome. Make sure you run in the Google Chrome. And see, I had some conversation with my uh, newly created uh, chatbot. Yeah, you can go to talk to chatbot and you can talk to chatbot here it also after some AI yeah yeah hi it's a little slow today yeah this is how you uh, install rasa thank you